Just recently, there have been some brand new RE4 remake leaks posted on Reddit including cut enemies, multiple DLC packs, story expansions, and much more. In this video, I will be going over these said leaks and giving my personal thoughts about them. So with that being said, let's get right into it. The first leak states that Krauser will be in the game, and his role will be a little bit different. Instead of being a secondary antagonist, he will instead aid Leon throughout the 4th and 5th chapters. Krauser will be playable in the first RE4 remake demo, which is set to release next month. So this kinda sounds a bit weird with Krauser almost acting as the good guy in this game. Because of his significant impact as the antagonist on the island, this could potentially mean that we will be getting a brand new boss type enemy to the story, replacing Krauser's role on the island. Also, with with Krauser being the good guy, the question is, who would be the one to kidnap Ashley in his place? It's pretty vague to say the least. Now as for a demo dropping next month, for those of you who don't know yet, Capcom has announced that they will be holding a Resident Evil Showcase event sometime next month, covering news for the RE4 remake and the Resident Evil 8 DLC. And with this event, I do think it is very likely that we will be seeing a demo get released next month for the RE4 remake. The next leak states that there will be 5 cut enemies, these enemies being the Novistadors, the Regenerators, JJ, the El Gigante, and the Snakes. So this would definitely be a bummer if true, especially with the Regenerators. They were so creepy in the original game, and I feel like if they were added in the remake with updated graphics, they could really make the lab sequences on the island super terrifying with the realistic Regenerators roaming about. As for the Novistadors, JJ, and the El Gigante, we've already had many supposed leakers state that these three enemies would be cut. So who knows, it may just be true. We will just have to wait and see for that RE show showcase to reveal the many changes that the RE4 remake will have to offer. The leaker then states that the game will have three demos, one for each area in the game. The village demo will release in October, the castle demo is going to release in December, and the island demo is going to be released next year in February. So this does seem very likely, especially since we got three demos for Resident Evil 8, being the maiden demo, the village demo, and the castle demo. I also feel like three separate demos would make a lot of sense to give us a small taste of what each area in the game will have to offer. Next up, it states that the castle will look a lot more like it did in Resident Evil 3.5. In the original, as we know, Luis died in the castle, but in the remake, Luis will get his own side story which will reveal that he actually didn't die. So I'm definitely glad to hear that the castle will be taking some inspiration from Resident Evil 3.5. Hopefully this means that they're going to incorporate even more assets from 3.5, like the Hookman and the Possessed Dolls. The next leak states that there will be a total of 11 DLC packs for the game. Five of them will be costume packs which will include the following, Leon's gangster outfit, Ashley's night costume, Leon, Ada, and Ashley's OG costumes, Luis's OG costume, Ada's scrapped Plague Doctor outfit from Resident Evil 8, Leon's Resident Evil 6 outfit, a brand new costume for Ashley outfitted in Claire's clothes from the original Resident Evil 2, and a brand new costume for Luis that will have him outfitted in a bandana and a black leather jacket with a skull on the back. There will also be three DLC packs that will include different amounts of RE4 currency that you can use to purchase items and weapons from the merchant. So if true, this is very good to hear because not only are they giving us the costumes from the original RE4, but they are also giving us a fair amount of new costumes that will for sure make a great addition to the game. In specific, I'm really happy to see Ada's scrapped Plague Doctor outfit on here. I feel like it was just too cool of a concept just to throw away, so it's great to see that it might just be in the remake if this leak is indeed true. Next up, it states that there will be a couple of story expansions. One where you play as Ashley before she gets kidnapped. One where you play as Leon right after after Resident Evil 2, and one where you play as Luis working as a researcher for Sadler. So as for Ashley's expansion, I kind of figured that we were going to get some sort of extra screen time for Ashley's character due to the small clips of her running away from someone or something in the beginning village sequence. The Leon expansion does sound pretty interesting, and the Luis expansion is much needed to further expand upon his role from the original game. Lastly, the leaker states that the Krauser knife fight has been cut from the remake, but a very similar encounter will happen between Leon and Luis where Luis will become possessed by Sadler and start attacking Leon with his knife. So we have had leaks similar to this in the past, where Luis is supposedly going to mutate uncontrollably and pursue Leon in the game. And personally, I don't really like the sound of it, but at the same time, I feel like it's pretty early to be too judgmental on the game, since we still have little to no idea on how the remake will actually play out. So with that being said, I think it's just best to go in open-minded and have faith that Capcom will be able to pull off this reimagining of one of the greatest games of all time. But anyways guys, there you have it. Those were all of the brand new RE4 remake leaks. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.